What is going on everybody? Welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing and on this Texas All Water Fishing, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Francine, what is going on on the Gulf Coast and what we uh, should expect going forward after this weather system, after this soon to be hurricane uh, moves through the area and heads further inshore. Now, one of the things that we are extremely, extremely lucky is that as the time goes on, as the day goes on and the hours go on, this weather system starts moving more and more to the east. Uh, unfortunately for our neighbors in Louisiana, but fortunately for us that are here on the upper Texas coast, that it goes a little more east and a little more away from us. Just little by little, day by day, hour by hour, not day by day, but hour by hour, it keeps going more and more east. So that's very fortunate for us. Now, one of the things that I will say is that we have a lot of wind in store for us. It's not going to be too extreme or too bad from what I'm seeing so far and what they're predicting. But uh, you do want to take precautions when you're going into any kind of weather system like this. You do want to make sure that you have fuel in your car, um, power systems, generator, fuel, whatever you need. Uh, make sure you take care of yourself and your family. Now, uh, looking and paying very close attention to this because we have a trip on Up Above Adventures. We have a trip scheduled for Saturday, so we are really following this weather system pretty close. And also for securing the boat during the storm, we are also following the weather system very, very close. So I just want to share with you a little bit of information from what I'm seeing and what I expect and what I expect going forward right after this hurricane. Um, what what you can expect after this hurricane if you're looking at you know fishing and trying to hook up this weekend. I'm switching over to the PC real fast. Let's hide this little chart, um, this little menu. You can see right here. Here is Francine, and she's in a turn into a Category One. We got really lucky, and there's a high pressure that kind of high pressure system that kind of shredded a little bit, and this low pressure system that's right here that is keep continues to push it off to the east. Uh, yesterday. It was forecasted, this time yesterday it was forecasted to make landfall around Lake Charles and then this morning around 5 o'clock we were debating or not if we were going to relocate the boat uh, to a, a different marina uh, on the Texas coast. The, the track had the hurricane landing just on this side of Baton Rouge off the coast. Now you can see here's Baton Rouge, now it's to the, le the right of Baton Rouge, just uh, east of Baton Rouge. So. As the hours gone by, it's continued to go push and push and push more east. Um, like I said, we're still under we're still under uh, tropical warnings. You know, we, we we still have those warnings in our area. Those uh, you see right here, coastal flooding warning through Wednesday 4 p.m. and uh, a little more inland. We have tropical weather statement affected tropical alert for this red area or i guess like a pink area the red area right here in beaumont has a storm surge warning so we're not getting any storm surge warnings in galveston although the tide is going to be up it was already up um this morning versus yesterday it went up about a foot so we can be looking at those one or two foot influx anytime you have a storm go through like this doesn't matter where it's at in the gulf we're always going to see the effects of it so Going forward, I think that we're going to have very minimum, minimal coastal issues. Uh, we're going to get some rain and we'll definitely get some wind. But here, let me hit this so you can see it kind of moving forward and kind of see what these bands, as these bands come through. Here's the hurricane, or soon to be Hurricane Francine down here. And she's going to move through this area, move closer and closer to us. But everything i show is that we're on the clean side and we're on the very fortunate side so uh today is tuesday so tuesday this evening and i selected this is Windfinder, and i selected galveston pleasure pier kind of let you know what's going to be happening on the front beach front there um the winds are going to be gusting around 28 to 30 miles an hour of course that's just forecasted it can fluctuate it can go be be way more than that it could be more than that or less than that are seeing some chances of rain going into wednesday and uh 
Wednesday evening should be around 16 miles an hour and you see this the wind is out of the north so that's gonna flatten the surf a little bit um, but that's normally that will flatten the surf a little bit but with these with the storm surge or with the with the tides coming in the tide level I'm not really to see I'm not really thinking the surf is gonna be too too flat but on the back end of the storm as it comes in midday Wednesday and we see the effects of it it's really going to calm down. Look at Thursday. Now, Thursday, the seas are calling for 1.3 foot. That's what the waves are. During the effects of the hurricane, they're calling for around 5 foot. So, it's going to cause the, the the weather is forecasting the waves and the seas to be really, really calm after the storm. I mean, you can look at here, 7 to 8 mile an hour winds, 3 to 3 mile an hour winds, uh, on Friday and really really calm seas going forward uh, through and through the weekend the weekend looks great um, six seven uh, temperatures and be around 80 degrees one foot one footers I mean and Sunday uh, seven three three seven the temps gonna be in the 80s and again you have one footer so that is looking very promising after the storm if you are looking out trying to get out and fish this weekend one of the things that i would warn you and just let you know that whenever you do have these strong winds and you do have some rain in the area you're going to get that runoff and that runoff is going to create silt it's going to turn up all the water and it's going to get pretty pretty dirty uh west bay is always is is already looking pretty dirty throughout the week um, um and with that higher water level what that's going to do is that's going to raise the water level. And I'm just going to pick a, a marsh system right here. So greens, if you're looking at getting into some skinnier water and you want to do some more inshore fishing, when you're looking at areas that are normally low water areas that are uh, they're typically pretty shallow and you have this influx of one to two feet of water, uh, what that is going to do a lot of times, that's going to push the bait as far back as it can go. And that's going to push the reds as far back as they can go to. And you can get very lucky and find good numbers of red schooling. Now, as the water starts to go back down and go back out, it's always, always a great idea to pick a spot where, you know, kind of have like a main artery or main channel going into the marsh or any area not just the marsh but any area and kind of post up and fish that fish that choke point as the water starts receding the fish will start leaving and moving through through that area and exiting back into some of the larger bodies of water so keep that in mind if you are going out and fishing this weekend uh, I mean, it's a, always a great tactic to use don't forget about the bull reds you know we are right at the cuff of the uh, the run here for those nice big bull, bull reds, those nice big red drums, and uh, you can catch them anywhere on the surf. And they love that windy weather. They love that nasty weather. So I'm not uh, telling anybody they should go should go fish during the hurricane, but um, or when you're feeling the the bigger effects, the larger effects of the hurricane. But you know, it's probably a very good idea to go fishing when you when, during this time. Uh, you know, their, their reds are going to be out there. They're going to be swimming. The water is going to be dirty, like I said. So uh, if I was throwing artificials, I would definitely make sure that I'm taking uh, scented bait with me. If not, using uh, some scent that you can put on your bait, like Procure or, or whatever your preference is. Uh, maybe even taking some gulp just to uh, assure that you're going to get that hookup because the water is going to be dirty. Uh, don't shy away from using uh, something with a little bit of chatter, a little bit of sound, and uh, it might even be a good idea when you do go fishing to uh, maybe even possibly taking some live or, or dead bait just to try to help that, that edge a little bit. This is a great time to do a lot of exploring. This is a great time to really stick and move and work a lot of area and work the grass line and really look for those reds that are out there that are back there in the back marsh areas. It's the best time to look for some of those those fish that are in that lower lane water areas and you know the jetties, the, the beachfront, all those spots are going to have those big, big reds out there. So I hope that you stay safe. I hope you and your family stay safe. And I hope you have the opportunity to go out this weekend and uh, hook up. Thanks.